tonight in the January 6th investigation. Earlier, I heard from the chairman of the House Select Committee investigating the riot, Benny Thompson. He tells me that phone calls with the Willard Hotel war room, where a lot of uh, Trump allies and aides to the former president were gathered, are a key part of the probe, and they're looking into, quote, anyone who is on them, meaning they may be looking at possible phone calls, including with the former president. This comes as the brutal nature of that riot was displayed once again. A three-hour video has been released showing the battle between rioters and police during the insurrection, showing rioters uh, spraying police with pepper spray, hitting them with a baton, and even stealing a shield from officers. Our next guest predicted the insurrection in a series of tweets more than two weeks before the riot on December 21st. This is what he wrote, quote, on January 6th, armed Trumpist militias will be rallying in D.C. at Trump's orders. It's highly likely that they'll try to storm the Capitol after it certifies Joe Biden's win. I don't think this has sunk in yet. Perspective now from the author of that tweet, extremism and political analyst and founding writer of the hat tip, Aria Kovler. Uh, Aria, your Twitter uh, thread obviously proved to be terribly prescient. Um, how was it that you were able to see what the American public, the U.S. military, law enforcement community were not able to see coming? I think I, I've been keeping a very close eye on those forums and public spaces, open and public, where Trump's most hardcore supporters met and talked. Um, and the one thing you've got to remember is that for several months, they had been absolutely convinced that Trump was going to win the election and win big. You know, he was going to win California, 40, 45 states. Um, and then after election day, when obviously he lost, Trump continued to say, I, I won. Um, and you're going to see soon. And they all believed him. But they didn't just believe that the election was stolen. They believed Trump had a plan to win. And they were, every, any day now, it was going to be proved. In January the 6th,